my name is Eva Potosky, and I have a dream. I carry this dream in every step of my day. I pray for healing for all Anishinaabe and all people. I pray for healing for all that is alive on our Mother Earth. I carry the strength of an Anishinaabe woman and mother. I've been blessed to have the love and care of strong women, my grandmother and my mother. As Anishinaabe women, we share the healing power of the water and the cedars. My grandmother was born in 1876. She was a strong woman who raised 14 Anishinaabe children. She was kind and very determined. She was a force to be reckoned with. When the Indian agent came to her home to ask her to sign away more land, she told him, we have suffered enough, and she threw him out. My mother was born in 1915, in a time of great loss and change for all Anishinaabe. She attended Mount Pleasant Indian School and suffered from the unarticulated pain of her generation. She and her brothers and sisters all suffered from alcoholism and many died. Many years ago, she told me a story about a vision and spiritual awakening that changed the course of her life. In her dream, she was standing on a hill with water all around, holding my sister and I safely. Through this spiritual awakening, she was able to begin a healing journey and find love and peace in her life. Both of these beautiful women loved the lake and the water. In their honor and from my dreams, I have written a poem that expresses our collective journey across the generations. Water Spirit. She lives in a woman's heart and in the hearts of all women. Our heartbeats are her heartbeats. Our rhythms are her rhythms. Our songs are her songs. She is the water. I was born in 1952 in a generation of great loss and great awakening. I too suffered from addiction and at the young age of 17, I nearly lost my life. This was a pivotal experience for me and put me on the path of healing. I still walk that path every morning when my feet touch the ground. Like my mother, I have also experienced that spiritual awakening that supports my walk. I too have been blessed with the healing power of life and the water. She is the lifeblood of the earth. Our bodies are joined together in her great river flowing across time. She has been present on earth since the moment of creation. The oceans, lakes, rivers, trees, grass, animals, and rain know her. She has sustained life over time without being diminished by even one drop. Over the past 30 years, I have walked a path of service to my family and community. I have been married to my husband for almost 25 years. We were married in a beautiful Anishinaabe ceremony in 1988. Our lives have woven together the paths of two Anishinaabe into one family. We both come from similar life experiences and together we have woven a strong bond of love and family. We have two beautiful children who have been able to grow up in our Odawa homeland with both of their parents. We are blessed in so many ways. I believe that everything that comes our way is in our highest good and is sent as a gift from the Creator. We can view our losses and problems as obstacles or as opportunities for prayer, healing, and reconciliation. It is important to remember that our ancestors stand with us. We hold the Anishinaabe genetic memory. It is our birthright. Within that memory are the seeds of great suffering and the seeds of great strength. She is strong and eternal. She is deep and powerful. She is more than her physical presence. 
She is spirit. She lives in our dreams and in our awakened mind. 